protects like WeatherTech. It's a first in over 25 years on this edition of Test Drive, the Jeep Gladiator. And yes, it's a pickup truck. Between 1986 and 1992, Jeep produced the Comanche, a pickup that was based on the Cherokee. It was a novel piece, but it just did not have the wherewithal to compete. Fast forward to today, and here comes the Gladiator. While it's loosely based on the Ranger Unlimited, it has a 492 mm stretch in the wheelbase. This does a number of good things, not the least of which is open up the back seat. There is lots of back seat space, room for three adults. If you lift the seat up, you've got storage bins underneath. And if you fold the seat back down, you've got a nice flat area for a large box. And finally, Jeep being Jeep, it has this, a boom box. When it's docked, it stays charged. You take it out, time to party. Gladiator is powered by a 3.6 litre V6 with 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. It drives all four wheels through Jeep's command track 4x4 system and an eight-speed automatic transmission. On road, the combination delivers decent acceleration and it allows the Gladiator to tow a 7,650 pound trailer. Sadly, the four high mode is only for use on slippery surfaces or when off road. It is a part time system. Off road, however, the combination delivers stump pulling power, especially when it's fired through the low range gear set and its 2.72 to 1 crawl ratio and the track lock limited slip rear differential. Now, given that many pickup trucks end up finding their way into a muddy field that will eventually become a construction site, it only makes sense that the vehicle in question have some off-road ability. Now, this Gladiator has got it and then some. Anything the Wrangler Unlimited can do, this thing does just as well, but it also comes with the utility of a five-foot box. If you leave the tailgate down, it will indeed accommodate a four by eight sheet of plywood. As for the Gladiator's other key specifications, it has an approach angle of 43.6 degrees, a breakover angle of 20.3 degrees, a departure angle of 26 degrees, and 11.1 .1 inches of ground clearance. That lock works whether rock crawling or mud bogging. It also has the wherewithal to ford 30 inches of water. Nothing comes close to offering anywhere near as much ability when the tarmac ends and the muddy fun begins. Now this Gladiator is all Jeep. The roof panels come off, the windshield folds down, and of course the doors come off. You also got the sit up and beg driving position and the window switches in the middle of the car, which is the wrong place. The plus in all of this is the Uconnect system. It is very easy to pair a phone. Snap and it's done. It also works with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The longer wheelbase also makes a massive difference to the ride quality. On road, the suspension soaks up rough pavement without beating up the riders. There is a degree of body roll, which tends to lead to tire screech when the Gladiator is pushed even mildly, and the steering, well, it's a little numb and it needs constant correction on the highway. However, considering the off-road ability, the on-road ride and handling still earns a passing grade. It's been a very long time since a pickup truck had as much off-road ability as this Gladiator. Where its peers get mired in their own mediocrity, this thing carries on and is all but unstoppable. It also has more character than the rest of the segment put together. It does have issues, like the steering, but you know, it's still a lot of fun.